Hello everyone, and welcome to the Good Game Lobby Review. Thank you for watching, and if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to see more indie reviews like this. You can find written reviews on our Substack, and watch clips of the games we play on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, all at the handle at Good Game Lobby. Now, moving on, let's head to Barnsworth and get slapping. Thank Goodness You're Here is a 2D comedic slap former developed by Cole Supper and published by Panic. The visual style feels like a cartoon that has crossed into a world of gaming. You simply won't get Tanya. And the gameplay introduces a wild new genre they call a slap former. What's a slap former, you may ask? It's a platformer where you slap things. The gameplay of Thank Goodness You're Here offers an engaging and immersive experience. Okay. Uh, let's just cut the slack. It's you slap stuff. You you straight up just slap things willy nilly. You you have two actions: a jump and a slap. You might jump on a shelf and slap a tin can out of the way to progress, or jump into a chimney and get pushed through it into an unsuspecting man's living room. Leaving him covered in soot. Ah, a fine mess. Then you walk over to his window, you slap it open, and you jump out. But that's not before slapping him a few times and everything in his house. Oh, get a dust pan and bush. Off your butt, then. Everywhere you walk, you can slap every item, resulting in a slight dent or some form of destruction. For example, you might rip open a trash bag when you slap it, causing a rat to spill out and sing. You may dent a lamppost when you slap it. Or slap a mailbox, causing the door to open and spill out all of the town's mail. You can smack anyone, and that's the thing that starts their dialogue. After you've exhausted all of their dialogue, you can continue to slap them afterward. You'll just hear them grunt or groan with each slap. This game is fucking hilarious. Almost every interaction with the fine folks of Barnsworth has some oddball goofiness or naivete that plays into the absurdity of someone walking around slapping everything in their path. Playing the demo during Steam Next Fest was just scratching the surface. Odd things were happening, but it wasn't as vulgar as the full release of the game. In the complete game, there are scenes with Maggie, who owns a shop, and the hand repairman discussing a disgustingly sexual experience together. Or a homeless man who's nude from the waist down asking you to find his pigeons around the town. The innuendos are vast and litter the conversations you eavesdrop on. One of my favorite gags involves a guy just trying to eat a fish pop or a cake or any kind of thing, and when you slap him, it explodes in his face. You see him multiple times, and each time he's holding some new delicacy, ready for you to slap it and for it to pop in his face again, to his shock. So the basics of the story is that you're a salesman, and you do odd jobs for people in a small town of Barnsworth. Your boss tells you to head to the town and speak directly to the mayor, but when you arrive, the mayor is unfortunately in a meeting and he'll be late. So you need to spend your time doing odd jobs for the citizens. You progress by helping out the townsfolk, such as freeing their arm from a sewer drain, slapping some kegs of beer to get them bubbly and ready to serve, or mowing the lawn in the park for a well-known voice actor, Matt Berry, of What We Do in the Shadows or Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. It's worth mentioning that the gaming industry is currently in a fight for better deals for voice actors amidst concerns about AI taking over their work. This cast is filled with many amazing voice actors whose work shines through each unique character's accent or backstory. I'll leave a link in the description about the SAG-AFTRA interactive media and video game strike so you can read more about it. Let's band together and support these voice actors as much as we can. You revisit some locations where jokes may repeat, but each time something new is added to keep it kind of fresh and funny, like the poor man in the chimney <laughs> I mentioned earlier. Ah, hello again. Didn't expect to see you twice in one day. I want to move on to the graphics of Thank Goodness You're Here. Visually, it is straight out of a cartoon. And with how game graphics and engines studios use to make them have progressed, it's tough to see the difference between Thank Goodness You're Here and something like Bob's Burgers, or anything you might see on Adult Swim. The only difference is really the frame rate. This game looks buttery smooth. Even the cutscenes don't feel like a huge departure from the gameplay because the look is already like a show, so they seamlessly integrate with the game to keep things fresh and progress the story. You slap anything and everything, so the sounds you hear vary depending on the object, like a light slap for a softer item or a harder slap for a metal object, for instance. The audio design work by the studio A Shell in the Pit is perfect. Whether it's a sound of slapping a lamppost, a flower pot, or a pint glass, 
Each one sounds exactly as it should and gives you a great feeling hearing it. They have a fantastic website and I've worked on many great indie titles like Pacific Drive and Night in the Woods. I'll link the site in the description below. Oh my big bops. I love the audio detail, like the sound of getting kicked out of a store, the door violently hitting you as you fly out, and the doorbell ringing, and the deep thud of you hitting the ground. It made me laugh far more than I would like to admit. The soundtrack has an old-timey, speakeasy vibe, reminiscent of the 1920s. It perfectly complements the slapstick comedy of the game, akin to a modern Chaplin routine. Here's a special clip of the co-creator James playing music from the soundtrack with Fraser Perry on double bass and Joe Rodwell on trumpet. It's so relaxing and absolutely delightful. Enjoy. Thank goodness you're here was a delight. I started with the intention to play in multiple sessions, but I just couldn't stop playing it. With each new character I met, I kept wondering what the hell is going on? What is the point of all this? And why doesn't anyone get mad at this little guy slapping the shit out of everything in his path? Just as I thought I was getting the hang of it, I was introduced to a new area where rats were running their own convenience store. At that point, I just stopped trying to make sense of it all and just immersed myself in Barnsworth. And that's where the deeper story began. A cop is investigating a criminal in the neighborhood who's selling everyone faulty products, like a watering can or, as the police discover, a no watering can. Each new item sold to an unsuspecting resident gets funnier and funnier. Thank Goodness You're Here is easily one of the best games of the year, with its comedic gameplay and voice acting bringing the small British town to life. The beautiful hand-drawn cartoon style and the ability to slap everyone and everything make it a must play for everyone. Except for kids. Definitely not for kids. It took me roughly an hour and 40 minutes to finish, and I reviewed this game on a rogue ally, which it ran on beautifully with no hiccups at all. I don't rate games on a scale of good game lobby, but this is easily a 10 out of 10 for me. Even if you aren't a fan of platformers, I recommend checking this one out. So that's my review. I'm curious to know what you think. Will you pick up this game? And if you already have, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more game reviews and gaming content. Your support really helps out a lot. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and as always, GG.